Hello everybody, this is Dee and welcome to my channel, Dee Plans and Budgets. Yay, it's time to stuff the long-term binder the last time for the month of April and I'm so excited you took some time out of your day to come here and do this with me. Before we do this binder today, let's have some fun with Happy Meal. And I won't make you wait until the end, I'm going to show you the freebies that are now going to be available on or in my description box to celebrate 1,750 subscribers. I finally, I'm up to 1,755. So, you know, even if I backslide, I'm okay by now. I am super, super grateful to be at 1,750. I have had these uh, challenges ready for a while and I wanted to make sure and release them this time of year. Let's first do our regular Happy Meal. And some of this, I just wanna show you real quick, was stuff that was sent to me and some of its freebies you can get. So let's start with this one. This is super, super cute. This is from Stitchy Saves. I am not sure she has an Etsy shop or not. Hmm. I'm not sure. Anyhow, pop the pip. Super cute. It's like a, a shut the box, but just six dice, and I haven't done that yet. So I am looking forward to doing this one. Next, we have a freebie from Hey K Budgets. It's a birthday one, but I love all the colors and such in it. And I'm going to use it for my minis and such because they're just adorable. And they're the little avocados and all the different colors. Absolutely love these challenges. And then a beautiful budget. Our beautiful budgets, sorry, sent this to me. These are not freebies, but these are available. Super, super cute. Look at them. Elfino. Oh, so cute. And then this one here. I like this um, leftovers. It's a leftover container, and then you can save your leftover money. Super cute, right? And this is from Our Beautiful Budgets. All right, and then lastly, Go Budget Boo. These are only the few that I wanted, but for her 24th birthday, she released 24 freebies. I suggest you all go over there and grab them. Super cute. These are the ones that I chose. The printer printed them a bit smaller but that's okay. My uh, randomizer envelopes are small anyhow, so it works. And these are just the ones I chose, but there's a whole bunch over there. I encourage you to go grab those freebies. And next, I got some physical Happy Meal. This first one is from Lissandra. I think it's Aponte. And I am not sure if she has a shop. We're going to find out here in just a minute. You guys, it's a Grinch. She knows me. Look at that. And it came in a green envelope too. And it just says, I just wanted to send you some Happy Meal to make you smile. You did make me smile because look at that Grinch. Also to let you know how much I appreciate you sharing your knowledge and uh, journey with us all. I do not make savings challenges, but saw these and thought of you. Uh, she purchased them from Spooky Budgets. I hope you like them. Enjoy. Your friendly YouTuber, Lissandra, aka Lisa. And thank you so very much for thinking of me. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, spooky budgets. <gasps> How have I not seen these? Oh my goodness, Lissandra, this is so kind of you. Thank you so much. Look at this Grinch. You have no idea how this goes with today's theme. Oh my goodness. It's a little schedule. I'm booked. <laughs> Wallow in self pity. <laughs> Stare into the, the abyss. <laughs> Oh my, jazzercise, I could do that. <laughs> oh my gosh. And the adventure begins. Fantastic. Look at these adorable, adorable savings challenges. One is 50 and one is 100. These are so cute. These are from Spooky Budgets. But the wonderful, kind Lissandra sent these to me. You are so, oh, I am so touched. Thank you. I, I'm, I'm floored. Thank you so much. So very nice. These are going right into a binder somewhere as soon as I have an opening because I love Grinch. Alrighty. Now, next from Elaine Realized. And Elaine does have a channel on YouTube. Ooh, I have some of these flowers. She has good taste. Let's see what's all in here. Try not to ever show the addresses, even if I think there's a P.O. box. All righty. Let's see what the letter says. It's, I wanted to send some scratchers I made for a group play in part as a thank you for being an inspiration to me. Your kindness and thoughtfulness really shines through in your videos. Oh, thank you so much. You helped me through a tough time when I just started to budget. Again, I wanted 
to throw my hands up and walk away. You are welcome to play along or just use them however you wish. Thank you, Elaine. Oh, Elaine, I am so glad you didn't walk away. We never want to do that. Never, ever, ever. I'm so glad you st st just stayed with it, right? And what are these? It's a group play. Elaine realized, oh, here's, I think this is the instructions. Willow has five scratchers that will add up to $25 with one to nine numbers. This must be Willow. Sleepy Winter has nine scratchers that add up to $75. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this is this one. Oh, is there something on back? Oh, okay, these are the backs. Oh, I love the branding. That is amazing. Okay, so this is the other kitty. Um, however, if you play a low budget, add all the double digit numbers together until they are single digits, it will add up to $30. Example, 19 is one plus nine equals 10 or one plus zero equals one. Winter will be the group play starting in May. My first group play video will be May 5th. Thank you for participating. Okay, I am going to definitely, because I watch Elaine's channel, so I am definitely going to save these and do the group play. I will head on over and check out that video. Thank you so much for these flowers. I use these all the time in my bullet journal. And I'm going to set these aside for now, but uh, go and check out your group play instructions. Thank you so much for thinking of me, Elaine. Going to be super fun. All right. Next, let's talk about the 1,750 subscriber giveaway. Now, I like to do things differently, which is one of the reasons I chose 1,750 subscribers to give this away. But also, I wanted to make sure that you could have this stuff in time to set up your Christmas binder. Because for those of you who don't save throughout the year, it is getting time to set up that binder. Or maybe you wanna set up a binder for next year. Or maybe, like me, you just love the Grinch. Cause look how cute, I mean, come on, look at that, so cute. Can't help myself, I just love the Grinch. Now, what does every binder need? It needs dashboards. This is a dashboard that's been laminated. I think this one that I chose was lower color. Let me get a binder, hold on. This is what they're gonna look like in the higher saturation color, right? And you can also just print them on regular paper. This is on a very, very thin cardstock, which I actually no longer use, but you can. I also have them printed on just regular paper. It works just fine for your dashboards. And then you can uh, write on them and just throw them away after you're done with that category. Then next, to go with your dashboards, got to have some Grinch trackers, right? You know me, I am all about tracking. I believe very, very firmly in tracking. And as you separate your categories for Christmas, it's always a good idea to track and track how you are spending. And then let me move this out of the way. I'm going to show you what's next. So you have seen me use this. This is going to be available to each and every one of you below. A couple of files I left in PDF. However, they're available in PNG as well because I know that some people have trouble printing PDF. And you do not need to laminate these. If you put them on a little thicker paper and use Sort Quick, they will work just as well. Or I always print my prop money with um, three mil, right? Because I don't want it to be too thick. And these are just some amazing prop dollars prop bills. You've seen them before. I modeled them after um, the size of Ron because I really like that it's a different size. This also helps for our international friends to be able to mix and match this prop money within their binders. And then last, you have dashboards, you have trackers, and you have prop money. So what do you need? Well, you need some savings challenges. And there are many. Now, some of these have scratchers on them. They, of course, don't have scratchers on them. I just put those on there so you can see that you could easily add your own scratchers. And these are all uh, numbers that you, that you, you know, you pick and mark off or color, or as I said, you can put a scratcher on them. I believe there's nine in the file. All sorts of different colors, all sorts of different Grinch girls. There you go. And those are all going to be in the Google Drive file attached as well. These are in sets of three, so you do not need to print them all if you don't care to do so. And you will notice that they are all different amounts. Here's a 50, a 45, a 75, a 75, a 100, a 75, a 45, a 100, and a 50. And as always, you could add these numbers together to cut down the amounts, etc. So these are all the things available to you as a thank you from me. I 
may do some physical product giveaways in the future. I just, however, I really, really, really love doing printables because it, every single person gets to have one. All right, let me get everything set up for the savings challenges and I will be right back. Okay, we are ready. Let's count. 51, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 580, 85, 87, 89, 91, 93, 4, 5, 6, and 7. 197 dollars. All righty, let's start. We're going to do a little bit out of order this time. I'm going to take this and put it over top. I want to start with Georgette. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to finish all of hers this month because there's a lot of scratchers left here. But let me start scratching and see what I can do. I know I can do the front in the two, or the two in the front. All right, so I was able to finish everything. I did go ahead and do this one for a dollar since I don't have any other 50 cent pieces in there. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. Let's consolidate and grab a 10. All right, I was able to finish that up. So we have this done for this month, and I have an envelope for that in my binder. Got a total of $11 today. Fantastic. Needs a swap. Let's see how much she has in there. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 93, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 85, 87, 89, 90, 1, 2, 3, 4. 394 dollars man and we're only four months in now i made the scratchers on the back of that challenge very small in amounts because i didn't need them i didn't know what they were and so i didn't count them towards the amount of the book and so it was all extra into the category that i chose for that let's roll for some sloth all righty put this up here what color do i want to do today folks i am in kind of in the mood you know what do gray okay i roll the 20 die once for here and or once for here and then one for there so row six and 15 excellent it is available row 14 and two that's available Row eight and 14 is not available. So how about 14 and eight? 14 and eight is available. I'm gonna put this back and grab a 10. And let's go again. Row 16 and 11 is available. Excellent. Twenty one in, take ten back, and let's go again. Row fourteen and one. Okay, I don't not crazy about the fact that it's right next to each other, but this is how the sloth landed. All right, and we can do another one. Row two and eighteen. All right, perfect. All right, that last one means I'm putting a little more into sloth than I had planned, but that's okay. Not a problem. So 18, 19, 20, and let's grab a 20, 20, 40, and 50. Let's grab this 50. So $55 into sloth this week. That is fantastic. Wow, sloth is getting full. Let's count up sloth. This will be the total for the end of April. So 700 from last year, eight, nine, 1,000. 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 30, 45, 50, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wow, 1,455. 
not even half done yet, but it is getting there. Yay. All right, next we have All Things Kimberly Wandering Gnomes. And we're just going to do a few of these on this one. One die is for the page and one die is front to back. So that will be the page four. One, two, three, four. And front to back is one to three is the front. Four to, uh, three to, four to six is the back. So that's for the back. And we can just roll one. And we're doing this one right here. This page is almost done. I've had a lot of fun doing this book and there's quite a bit of it left. I'm not even halfway done. So it's going to be carrying on into the year for sure. Five, seven, nine, and let's do one more. Page six is this one and the front page. And one, two, we only have three left. Let's see if I get a one, two, three, four, five right here. And three. All right. That makes $12 in here. Very doable for this week. Okay, so another three. And then let's consolidate as we usually do. And a 10. Perfect. Let's see what All Things Kimberly has in this. I have no idea what this book is. It's a mystery. I'm not sure anybody else it's far along in it yet, but I wouldn't watch them to find out what it was if they did. So 230, 330, 350, 70, 90, 410, 430, 450, 60, 70, 585, 87, 89, 91, 93, 94, 95, and 96. Wow. It is on its way. These front three categories are all going to fund my out-of-pocket medical expenses. For those of you who are newer, I keep the previous years in the bank. And so I can fund any out-of-pocket medical expenses that come now, and this would reimburse it. So I do not have to get this stepped by any particular time. Okay, let's do, let's just pick a couple to do today. And I want to do, I haven't done, um, let's do like this beautiful green color. And I think I'm going to do one, because I'm doing this at adding the numbers together. And I think I'm going to do two. dollars and let's do you know I don't want to color anything else so close to oh let's do this one down here so three let's do this one for four dollars all righty I want to see what's in here so four dollars do we happen to have 46 in here okay let's do this first 20 40 and 50 and break this other 50 okay and then now I said it was two, three, four dollars. Let's take this one and grab a five. So 50, 70, 95, and 97 dollars in here. Yes, sirree. That one is making progress. Super excited about that. Okay, these next ones are, were, let me put this aside. These next ones are ones that will rotate through my challenges. They do not have a specific amount in, in mind, and so they can just be whatever I want them to be. I'm starting with this one. It's a roll and save. I will do this one next. I think I'm going to get this, ooh, let's get this blue pen to write with, and let's roll the six-sided dice. Let's see what I get. I got five. Excellent. And I think that's going to be it for this. This is from Lady Die Saves. I have a five right here, so let's do a ten and take back out the five. And that leaves 10, 15, 16, $17 in here. These were a freebie from Lady Di. Go check out her channel. Her channel's amazing. She's so positive, I just enjoy watching her. Next, as you know, she's one of my favorites. Champagne's Corner. Y'all gotta go watch her build the farm. She's really doing it in a way that I can understand and I am going to start building that farm. I'm not gonna do it on the channel right away, one, two, because it's confusing. I wanna make sure I understand it first. But I have usually a little bit of uh, leftover walking around money each month. Sometimes it's 50 or $60. Sometimes it's 50 cents. But I'm going to use Build-A-Farm to do that. This challenge from Champagne got seven. Do I have, I do, eight, nine, ten, and ten is 20. And I'm going to take a 20. I think my vacuum cleaner needs emptying. 
because it just dumped stuff all over the desk. I'm going to do that right now and be right back. All right, mission accomplished. Next. <laughs> Moonlight from Liz and Les. And this one does not have the two numbers on it, so I don't have to uh, only place a sticker every other week. For those of you who have been watching, I have been practicing the best self-control in doing the two numbers and not taking a sticker off until the second number is completed. Let's put the moon right smack dab in there. Yay, it's $11, it's a little spendy to start, but you know, the cow, oh, should they be able to jump? Oh, hold on, I gotta move this. The cow's gotta be able to jump over the moon, right? Okay, let's see if this is a sticker that can be moved. Hold on. All right, it's not movable. The cows will not be jumping over the moon. All right, this one from Liz and Les started with $11. So cute. I should have thought about them jumping over before I got busy and placed that sticker down. This next one is from Reinventing Renee. I love this one. And it is a one that builds. So I have $3 left in this one that I need to finish up. Let's do that. So that's $3. And then let's consolidate real quick because I want to show you. So 10, 22, 4, 6, 8, 9, and 30. Let's do this. So the way this challenge works and why I like it is it's a way that you can build upon your savings. So now you will notice I have $30 here. I'm going to take this. Each one of these is $7. You use the first $30 from this to stuff it. So 7, 14, 21, 28, 29, and 30, which means it's going to leave me with just a few more on this one to do. I am going to get an orangish one. I am going to color these all in and be right back. I'm putting five more in here. This is now 35. All right. So as I said, this is a fun way a person can do a challenge. I'm going to set this over here and build into some of the larger numbers and have a head start. Okay, the next one is one that I have done, and it is my little pigs in a blanket. There are three different roll and save ones. <laughs> Not pigs in a blanket, I'm sorry, pigs in a basket. Look at them. Look at them. They're too cute, you guys. I can't, oh, I can't help myself. Sorry. I'm not one to like compliment myself, but these pigs are too cute. Let's do two. I know I can do at least two. So five and 10. Okay, let's take this and grab a 20. So 23 into my pigs in a blanket. Okay, while I was gone, I colored this in. So this is now done. All righty, good to go. It wasn't quite the right color. I'm going to do the 60 envelope. Alrighty, what do I got? Four. I can do another one. And ten. I think that's enough. I didn't put very many tens in here, so that one is harsh. Four and ten. Let's see if I have a dollar or six dollars in here or something like that. I do not, so I'm gonna take 10, 12, and 14, and I can consolidate it later if I need. I don't think I will. Let me color these in, and I'm gonna be right back. All right, the way that I'm doing this is modeled after Veronica at 40 Plus Life. I don't think she's publishing videos anymore, but um, this is the way that she did it. I created the challenge myself. So 20, 40, 60, 75, 82, 4, 6, 8, 88 dollars. I have no idea what I made in here. I just wrote some numbers and popped them in there. Made sure they were numbers I could handle. Okay, the next one is another one of my challenges. And I think a lot of these are, because that's how I separated them. Let's find this one and do six dollars in here. All right. When I complete the challenges in these binder, I don't do a stuff that challenge. 
because they don't go into a traditional place. They go into a long-term binder, and that long-term binder has a lot of different things in it, and so I don't necessarily share it on camera. 21, 2, 3, 4. For instance, it has all the money I have set aside for an emergency fund, and I don't care to share that. It's a good bit amount because I'm very prepared. Okay, save with Judy. Let's do it. Do I have any left for April? I have one little Easter egg left. Okay, well, this little Easter egg is going to be orange. Yes, it is. Because obviously this is my color of the day. I'm doing just $2 for each one. And I don't need to get a head start on May, I don't think. So we have this one, 10, 15, 20, 5, 27, 29, 31, 33, 35, 37, 39, and 40. Okay, this is from Madeline. Madeline Budgets. Let's do a 12-sided dice on this. And it is going to get a five. Well, okay. I did the 12-sided dice, but it was very kind to me. Five dollars it is. Going into that. This is her Boho Dog set. You get like nine of them in one set. Very well worth Very, very well worth it. This is from Marlene. Snow Gardener 307. Let's do the last one on this side. This is a birthday challenge. I'm just using it for whatever. And seven dollars. That's nice. And slices of cake. I mean, come on. This is not even unreal. I went into the store the other day and the slices of cake now cost about seven dollars. So <laughs> that was interesting. All right. Interest of time. I'm going to stop counting. All right. Next, shut the box. Marlene Snow Gardener 307 has been doing this in a very unique way where she's using the dotting pins so she can use it over and over again. And I am going to go ahead and copy that. This is going to get folded in half. Sorry, Renee. I'll fold it this way, though, because I want it to be able to go into this envelope. Anyhow, this allows you to be able to do it or use it more than one time. Let's play some Shut the Box. And we got 10. So let's go 9 and 1. And seven, we're gonna go seven. I don't need those two dice. And nine, let's do five and four. <laughs> and five, two and three. Whew, my heart sank for a minute. Oops. And three, okay, so I'm done. Six and eight. So that's $14, 12 and 14. Just one shot the box today. And that's good, and I should be able to use those a few different times. We'll see. If not, I can just use another one. And the next one, a roll the die from One Frugal Introvert. I really enjoy this. I changed it because I didn't have enough money to do it necessarily the way that's on here. And so let me get, let's use this color today. And let's start with two dice and see what I get. A six and a one. Oh, look at that. I ended up finishing the six off. Well, that's fantastic. So this whole side is done. Let's move up to here. And $7. I think that's good in this challenge. Fantastic. So $7 is going in here today. Yay. Next, we have Steph's on a budget. Let's just do... How many do I have left? Tracy, Jenny... Yeah, let's just do... Let's do two of these today. I'm going to leave one for next week. I know I could finish it up, but I don't necessarily need to. I don't, like, I don't get into this money. And I want to leave a little bit because there is a challenge I'd like to finish up just so that I can start another one of hers. And so this is $6. We're going to put this in here. And actually, sorry. Let's take 10, 15, 17, 19, and 20 and break this. Uh, oh, there isn't any 20s. Okay, so 5, 7, 9, and 10. All right, $42. So five more will be 45. That is fantastic. I have more cows on swings because, you know, cows on swings, super cute. This one from Tracy, Golden Girl Budgets. Each one of these is 5 I think we're going to do the donut today. Okay, $5 going into this one from Tracy. Golden Girl Budgets, check her out, love her channel. 
Let's use this purple this time and see what it happens. So this is from Jenny at Simply Living Safe. It's getting close to getting this done. I did change some of the numbers, that's okay. And I think I was, I have no idea. Let's just start at the stop, top at the stop. One, two, three, four, and five. So we have a large icon, which is $2, and you can't see that. Okay, so $2 saved on this one. And let's go again. How much do I have? Two, I only have six. So one, two. All right, let me see if I were to push my luck. Oh, there's lots I could go over on. So nope, we're just doing this. $4 going into the pet savings with Jenny or with Simply Living Saves. As I said, I'm gonna hold off counting, show y'all pity. All right, let's move this. Totally left over. This is on my shop. I just use it as a way to collect my leftover bills and you go until the next frog. The ones that are on my shop have a little box up here. So I have two, three, four dollars. So I'm gonna write a two in here because it's gonna be one, two, three, and four. I kind of combined like a, a roll game that you play and then a stop game and then also just a place that you can save your leftover money. So that goes into here and totally leftover is done. Fantastic. Thank you so much for stopping by you guys. Please, please, please go into the into my description box and find those. Uh, well, I have my freebies folder in there and then the Grinch is a separate folder as well. And I, I really want you to take advantage of those. If you don't care for Grinch, that's fine. But if you uh, would like to use them for whatever or Christmas binder, please take advantage. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all those wonderful things. And until the next one, bye.